back to another video and if you're new welcome so today I'm gonna do an autumn acrylic set using acrylics that I received in my young nails mystery box so if you've ordered the box and you want to be surprised and you don't want to know what's in it I'm gonna ask you to move ahead because I don't want to ruin anything for you but let me tell you the box is amazing it's the acrylic mystery box that I purchased and it has so many goodies in it so Yes, if, yeah, 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 move along if, if you don't want to know. So with that being said, I'm going to be using five different acrylics that came in that kit. And the powders are huge. Look at that. These are awesome. So there were a few colors in here that I thought would just go so pretty together. Kind of make it an autumn set. And then I wanted to use some of the glitters that came in the kit as well. These are just gorgeous. They are amazing. Um, the whole kit's amazing. I can't, there, I can't, there's not even anything negative to say about it. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and do this set using the uh, acrylic powders that came in that kit. So hopefully everything turns out. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, so this is my practice hand, Jessica. She is actually from Red Iguana, and she goes under the name Lisa. So um, anyways, I've gone ahead and I've put some tips on her, and I scuffed them up just a little bit. I'm not going to prime them or anything like that because these aren't going on anybody, so they, they're fine. Um, they're just for fun. All right, and then I'm going to be using, um, for the monomer, I'm going to be using Young Nails. And this is, I love this stuff. It works amazing. Okay, get a little bit in there. So I'm gonna be, I kind of wanna do some marbling and then I was thinking about doing kind of like a French, an acrylic French. I know that since gel polishes have come out, everybody does, um, it seems like the French is done with the gel polish and so I just wanted to kind of show you what we did like old school I don't even know if it's old school if people still do it or not but I haven't seen it for a while um, anyways I'm gonna be using amber glow and these colors oh my gosh these are so so pretty I'm gonna be using the garnet glamour and they've all got a shimmer in them they're just gorgeous and they look way better once you hit them with the monomer. Okay, and I showed you the glitters. So along with that, I'm also going to be using Speed Clear because what, I gonna, what I'm going to do is encapsulate everything once it's on the nail because you need that structure and whatnot. So, and then I just don't want to file anything off um, so the, the clear encapsulates it. Um, this is Smoky Ametrine, I think is how you say that. Look at that color, oh my gosh. Okay, so these, like I said, they once that monomer hits them, they're just, they are even prettier. This is Cover Morganite, and this is, um, this is one I'm gonna use just to give it kind of a solid, a little bit of a solid color. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do this without making a huge mess. Okay, so I'm gonna try everything somewhat organized um, so let's see here I was thinking that the the garnet might go with the red it may not but and I'm gonna show you how I do this so don't come at me because I'm not mixing this in a clear acrylic jar with the glitter and whatnot this is how I do things and um, it's just just something I do so anyways not trying to be mean but I cannot um, yeah can't can't emphasize this enough so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a bead of the morganite some of the garnet okay and then some of this glitter just like such and I'm gonna come into this nail And we're just going to marble it in. And I'm thinking the glitter down the center or in the middle of it will be a 
enough. Okay, and I'm going to do that again, but without the glitter. So one ball, and then dunk it in there. And I'm using a different brush. I'm not using the one that came with the kit. I always, I tend to use a larger brush. It just works better for me. And then I don't put the clear, I'm not going to encapsulate these until they're dry because I don't want everything just to get all mudded again, so to speak. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more of the garnet glamour. So you're just marbling it. It's so, so simple. And like I said, we'll let that dry before we put uh, the clear on. I just feel like it's missing something. Okay, so I'm going to put a little more garnet. Actually, the amber, this is, I'm going to use this one next. And that is the one I'm going to try and show you how we do. And I don't know, like I said, maybe they still teach this in school. I don't know. Um, things are done so differently these days. It's insane. Okay. All right, so on this one, this is the one I'm gonna do the French on. It's just gonna be the ring finger. Okay, I'm gonna get a good size bead. So like I said, I have seen so many people do, it's called a reverse. And that is fine, but I personally like it better this way because when you do the reverse, you got to go back in and you got to file your pink or your nude or whatever color you have up towards the cuticle first, hence the reverse. OK, 
Okay, and then you're just going to get that smile line where you want it. And you can make it a deeper smile line if you want. Remember, it's your set. And this too is going to get encapsulated. with the clear. Okay, I'm gonna put just a small bead at the tip. I am loving this color. This is so, so pretty. It reminds me of like a pumpkin spice. So when you're using colored acrylics, as most of you know, sometimes they can muddy up your monomer and you'll have to change it out. And I will probably have to do that because I'll be using the clear. And I'm hoping it won't affect the Morganite too bad. Nope, it is. Okay, so we're gonna, hold on here. I'm gonna grab another little dappin' dish. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've got another little dish of monomer. And then I'm going to bring it up to the cuticle area. So again, I'm not telling you this is how you have to do it. This is just how I was trained. And everybody has their own way. And then I'm just going to pat it, kind of bring it down a little bit, get down in there. And then as I'm going, I'm just going to continually, I'm going to try and clean it up on the other acrylic because I want to keep that smile line. So this is going to be where the color is, not necessarily where the strength is. That's where the clear comes in. I feel silly. This always goes so much quicker on a client. And I have a couple of them that still do the French with acrylic. which I absolutely love because, I mean, I just think it looks so pretty. And it just, it's to me, it's so much more crisp. Grab another small bead. Okay, 
And then if you're happy with it, you're gonna just let it cure because, or set up, not cure, I'm sorry, it doesn't go in the lamp. Um, and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna put that clear on to encapsulate it. Okay, sorry, I'm just being picky. Okay. Alrighty. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab, this is a smoky Amatrine. Now there were a couple colors that um, I thought, okay, this is the Urban Utopia. This glitter, along with a couple other colors, looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna kinda do a little bit of a mix here. Let's see, let's do this one. It's a little bit bigger. So again, I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna just grab a little bit of everything, kind of. I did not grab the garnet. I don't wanna mix that in with this one. I wanna see how it looks without it. Take just a smidge of this again, a little bit of glitter. And you can put it anywhere you want. And I'm trying not to make it too awful thick because like I said, we're gonna put the clear on to encapsulate. I'm not going to use any more of the glitter, so I'm going to move that aside. I'm going to take just a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, and then this one here, I am thinking we're just gonna use, let's see, the Morganite, and then what is this one? It was a smoky, right, Amatrine? Yeah, so we're just gonna use these two. And I have the glitter, um, I gotta grab it. 
trying to decide whether or not I wanted to use it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna open that one real quick. Okay, we're gonna close these up because I'm not, oh no wait, I'm still using these. Oh my gosh, getting ahead of myself again. I'm just gonna close a couple of these up so I don't muck them up, so to speak, okay. And where's the cover, there it is. So I'm hoping that this glitter will go with it. We will see. So I'm gonna use this one. This is Chill Charm. Yeah, I'm hoping that will work. Move these aside. Okay. Just a little extra something something. Okay. Let's see here. Oops. Okay, I am liking that. So let's see here. And again, I'm just putting the glitter right there in the center. And then we'll just mix these two colors. I'm hoping those are coming through. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. So now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do just the um, speed clear on all of those. They should be set up. This one should be good to go when I come back to it. It doesn't take long for them to set up. And I'm trying to keep them somewhat thin because, like I said, I don't want it to be super thick on there as far as the acrylic goes because then that's just more filing. And I don't want to do that. Get some of this off the table. Or moved over, I should say. Okay. So here's the speed clear. I love this stuff.
I'm going to try and go into the monomer that's not as muddied as the other one. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right. So I'm going to just try and grab enough to cover. Whoops. I was looking at something else. So yeah, you just want to encapsulate everything. I don't want to use, um, or lose, I should say, any of that glitter that's on there. So along with the kit, they sent a matte top coat. And I'm excited to see how that works. And I will probably use that on one of these.
So I know it looks a little wonky right now, but once you get everything filed, you'll get your shape back. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I have enough on there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let these set up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and file them and then we're going to put the top coat on. Like I said, we'll do um, one or two with the mat. All right, so these are filed. They're set up. They're ready to be top coated. So I am going to grab, let's see here. All right, so this is the new matte non-tack gel top coat that came in the, um, the mystery box. Haven't used it yet, so I'm, I'm sure it works great though. Haven't used it yet. Anyways, this is another Young Nails. Um, I have a, I have stockpiled this stuff. It's a stain resistant gel top coat. Um, has a tacky feel to it, so when you um, are done curing it, you need to wipe off um, the tacky layer with like rubbing alcohol or um, what do they have? Hold on. I have it and I don't use it all the time. It's swipe. So you can use swipe to take off that tacky layer as well. Um, and I have found that this works excellent for beauticians. Um, hairstylists that do a lot of color, they, uh, their nails can stain. And this stuff here, I have a couple of gals that do hair and this is, they absolutely love it. It works great. And I always love it when they come in and they tell me stories of how their nails are still looking the same color they were when they left <laughs> here after their fills. So I'm going to do a couple of shiny and then I'll do a couple of matte just to see how it looks. And I always do two coats on them, especially just because they have their hands and chemicals and sometimes they don't always wear gloves and that is okay. I just, you know, everybody has a way of doing things. So this top coat works perfect. So glad. Okay, so the glitter is showing up on this one. I'm afraid I might have overdone it on the pinky with the acrylic and covered it up more than I wanted to. So with these being new colors, hopefully this is something that they will have in stock all the time. Because these are gorgeous. Okay. And then we'll do the matte. So I'm excited to see how this, I almost wonder if I should have done that one in a shiny. All right, so here is the mat. And this is a no wipe, so that's that's even more impressive. Hold on here, I've got a bit of a mess going on. I don't know why, but this one reminds me of a dessert with cranberries. Okay. All 
Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. I was afraid I covered up the glitter really, really bad. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds to let these cure and then I'll be right back. All right, so I just cleaned these off. Anyways, I am liking that. So I'm just curious. I might put a shiny one on that one. Anyways, this is what I came up for the autumn set. And those acrylic powders are gorgeous. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will be back again shortly with another one. Cheers.